Excuse me, you weren't by chance attempting to summon an incubus, were you? Mm. No, you didn't seem at all dressed for it, I thought not. Well, my apologies, this is rather Well, these things happen. Rarely. Occasionally. Lines get crossed. You understand, yes? Do people invoke a summoning at the same time and... Well. It's not as if the ether were summoned through as some kind of index, you understand? I don't suppose I might be a suitable replacement for whatever it was you were trying to summon, am I? Ah, yes. Nature, spirits, and I. Well, our dominions are quite different, as you might imagine. However, luckily for me, our binding circles are also quite different. Namely, in that Incubi have binding circles, and nature spirits, so far as I know, do not, which means this circle should be, ah, how wonderful, perfectly useless at binding. Oh, no, no, no. Don't look so worried. I don't mean you any harm. Sure, us incubi are demonic in nature, but we're so far removed from demons, we may as well not be related at all. <laughs> what else are we, then? Well, that depends on the taste of those further back in our lineage. Human, elven, were-creature, fae, anything you can imagine. Incubus is more of a categorization than a race, although I would have expected you to already know that, considering this is quite the involved-looking spell you've got here. You seem like a studious little witchling, I'm guessing. Oh, I thought so. You've too many books to be of any other discipline. And witches do have a fantastic knack for overcomplicating magic. And this certainly looks complicated. Oh, no, I don't mean to make that sound like a bad thing at all. It's very impressive, color me. I'm quite impressed. For somebody so young. 
It looks like you've done a very good job. Oh, and such a smart little brain, wrapped up in such a pretty package. <laughs> you still look worried. I thought I told you to stop that. From the spell work here, you appear capable enough to stop something like me from really doing any harm. Should I wish it? Which, again, I'd like to stress, I very much do not. I mean, I'm a little bummed. I did show up expecting. Well, it's not your fault anyhow. It'd hardly be anything to take out on you. My name? Oh, all oh, my apologies. I suppose I didn't give that. I'm used to people already knowing it from their summoning. My name is Charlemagne, and it's a pleasure to meet you. I do request you refrain from using nicknames with me. Well, my mother gave me this name, and I'm quite fond of it. I do hate to be so proactively touchy about it, but... Well, what is an incubus if not touchy? Many seem keen on Charlie, or, oh, even worse, Charles. A very different ring to it, wouldn't you agree? Oh, I suppose that's one thing I've kept of my demonic heritage. A stubborn pride in my name. Well, fair is fair. How about you? Tell me about yourself. Your name, please. I see you've got a little camp going, and, uh, you... Hold on. Hold on a moment. We're not in the city, are we? I've been summoned in the campgrounds within Century City's limits, and this doesn't look familiar. Oh, oh you little troublemaker, that explains it. Oh, we're in the wild. That explains the summon. This is wild magic you've been playing with. I knew something felt off. Oh, no, no, I don't mind wild magic at all. It's been some trouble for you, hasn't it? It's uncooperative at the best of times. And as much as I enjoy the reckless abandon it comes with, I can only imagine a human like yourself wouldn't enjoy the wrangling of it. Oh, well, of course I enjoy it. I'm not human. I'm predominantly an elven incubus, so... I feel very much at home here. The city is fine, but the magic always tastes the same. It's so calm, and it's so level, and it barely ripples when you splash in it. Oh, but wild magic. Oh, some days it's calm. And other days, it's torrential. It's so easy to get swept up in it. Oh, it's a wonderful feeling to just let it in and enjoy it as it was meant to be. 
Well, I was wrong earlier. I was very wrong. This isn't a disappointment at all. I'm rather glad I've gotten mixed up in your summoning. The residue of your summoning that's anchored me here is hardly even there anymore. Just wisps dissipating already. Oh, I do enjoy the freedom that comes with not being stuck to a circle. However, you, you're a carefree thing, little bird. I'd rather like to stick around longer. I hope that's not a problem. I do make fine company, if I say so myself. And if you're planning on camping out, trying that spell again, well, I'd rather like to see the results of that and enjoy the ambiance out here with you. You don't terribly mind a eh? camping buddy, do you? Oh, beautiful. That means the world to me. It's been some time since I've had the chance to roam this plane freely. No, this isn't my native plane, and I have to say, I don't mind that. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's a very convenient plane of existence, certainly doubly so for a witch. But it's so, oh, central. You're the hub, you know that. It's possible to get from A to B without going through your plane, but all the calculus of it becomes much more complicated. A layover here is much cheaper. Still, it's noisy. Not in the sense of sound, of course, but in a magical sense. Claustrophobic, even. Sandwiched between all the other planes. The LAX of interplanar travel. No, I suppose that reference wouldn't make sense to you. Don't worry. It's in another plane, and a boring one at that. Written like a bad book. Whoever's managing the plot over there introduced murder hornets in the middle of a pandemic arc and got their storylines entirely jumbled. A mess, honestly. But, there at the edges, quite far out, magic is thin there. Not like your plane. Your plane is so centrally located, which is why magic is so potent here. You're not exactly the source, per se, but it's not far off. In a way, the magic that reaches everywhere else comes through here first. Creatures of demonic lineage are generally tied, more or less, to their birth plane. We can travel between planes with some freedom, but eventually we're snapped back 
like a rubber band, especially during summonings. In a controlled summoning, we're only bound by the circle we're summoned with. And once it's broken, we have a very limited time left until we're yeeted back to where we're originally from. <laughs> no, I don't mind if you take notes. It's such a typical little witchling. I'm sure this info's out there somewhere already. Although, demons do love to be cryptic. Maybe I shouldn't be so sure. It always seemed like too much trouble to me. But, yes, sure. <laughs> Is demonic information really that hard to come by? Well, I'll go on then. In an open-ended summoning like this, there's nothing in particular binding me. I can feel the way I'm tied in. Almost like I'm directly connected to the wild magic here. Oh, I don't think you could do this on purpose if you tried to tell you the truth. It's a shame, because as far as I can tell, I could stay nearly indefinitely like this. Until somebody summons me elsewhere, of course. That is a one-way ticket. My home? Oh, no, gods, absolutely not. Most demonically inclined individuals I know avoid the murder hornet's plane. I can't imagine somebody being cursed enough to be born and tied to that one. No, my home is somewhat similar to this plane. Not far off in a cosmic sense. Similar, but just a little emptier, a little calmer. We feel the reverberations, but unless we're talking about something on the scale of the great bind, well, Everybody felt that. But besides that, it's mostly small tremors. Ah, that's right. You wouldn't know about the Great Bind, would you? I do ask you keep quiet about that. Please. As much as I hate to be serious, and I really do hate it, even I'm aware of the gravity of that situation. It's less and less dangerous knowledge the further away you get from, well, here, but the closer you are to here, the more exponentially dangerous it becomes. Truth be told, it would have been better had I not brought it up, but... <sighs> no one doing that now. I would encourage you not to explore that topic, but... if you do so, proceed with caution. Yes, dear. I can see that thirst for knowledge. Try.
trust me. I'm an incubus, and I'm very much an expert in spawning thirst. I can't say that I don't expect you to poke around, so I will warn you. I don't know the details of what happened. Those of us who didn't have to be near it did our best not to be near it. But it was a calamity. A potential disaster. That's on a scale I can't even imagine to be seen again. Oh, I'm aware I'm being very cryptic. I do apologize. That's not my intention. My pretty bird. I really don't know much about it. And I really don't want to. Gossip. The latest goings on. Oh, that sort of thing. I'll dig my nose in deep. But. There's a lot about magic that's. Frankly above my pay grade, and I am not looking for promotion. Oh, dear, 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 dear. I hope I haven't stressed you out. That wasn't my intent at all. Sometimes my words don't pass through my brain before they fall out of my mouth. That's all. Come here. No, no. If you're all right with it, I insist. I won't try anything funny. Well, not unless you ask nicely. But if I'll be staying here with you, I don't want you to look so uptight. And besides, I owe you. Please, let me just give you a little neck massage, a little rub down the shoulders. That, unlike all of this magic nonsense, is exactly my pay grade. And like I said, for summoning me in such an absolutely comfortable way, I think you deserve a little pampering. Oh, hush, 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 hush. Whether you meant to summon me or not doesn't change the fact that you've done your friend Charlotte. A wonderful favor. Here, you've already set up camp. I can see that much. Come rest down against one of these trees with me. Let's see. Oh, here's a spot. Here we are. Come settle into my lap. Oh, I promise you need no fear. Not about making an incubus feel awkward. Come, sit. There we are. Just relax. Oh, I was right. Poor little thing, you really do feel dead. This wild magic, this excursion, having your summoning go awry and spending so much energy on that spell. Oh, it must have made you quite tense. 
At the very least, I can serve you in that way. With no insinuation intended, I'm quite good with my hands. Incubi have a knack for knowing how to help others relax. So please, you must be quite tired from that ritual. Oh, and I have no qualms about letting a cute little human sleep in my lap, so feel free to do so if you wish. And now, let everything drop away, everything else, let it slip away. I'm just Set it.